I think there is. I think there's someone who needs to come in right now. You picked them yourself. Yes. No, these are all from Hillary. Mm -hmm. This is something she wants you to do for hair. Yes. You get a special treat today, and it's basically becoming a princess like your sister wanted. And you get to go all around New York today and go to the best places to get your hair done and your nails done. And you get to go shopping and get an outfit. And there's another surprise. That's right. We've got Ted Gibson Salon. And then you're going to go to What Goes Around Comes Around, the yes. store you really like. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go and get some clothes. But also, later on, you have something you have to do. Exactly. And Dana's going to come along? Yes. So, um, a little later on in the day, after you get made over, you're going to be my special guest on MTV Channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute. I want to be on Channel. You've never asked me. Oh, <laughs> anyway, what a day you have ahead for you. So, we want you just to sit and absorb all of this. Hillary and I are going to sit and have a chat. And, you know, tomorrow she's going to be singing. So you're going to be there for that, too. And we want to make sure that uh, that you get all ready for your big day. But we love having you yes. right here. Thank we you do. So Thank you guys so much for coming. Is there anything you want to say, Laura? I'm just so happy for Anna. Thank you so much. Oh, no, thank you. I so, it's so exciting. We are so happy, and it was a beautiful thing you did for your Definitely. sis. No kidding. Thanks. We're going to take a break. Hillary and I will be back. <laughs> Need some rest. <laughs> Hillary Duff joins us now. About to go on tour to do you ever say too much? Too much can't do it. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm so excited about everything that's going on and I'm so lucky right now. And um, I don't like to say no. I like to do it all and um, I can take a break later. Keep I'm playing. young. I have a lot of energy. That's right. You're you're not gonna be face forward in the mashed potatoes like some of us. <laughs> now is this true? You didn't go to the prom, you right. high school prom because you were homeschooled for a while and then you graduated early. You you finished early. Yes. So you decided to throw your own <laughs> uh, print, and you got the dresses and everything? <laughs> okay, here's what we did. I never went to regular school, really. So, um, And a lot of my friends kind of grew up the same way I did, that I'm friends with in L.A. And um, so they never, yeah, exactly. So they never had proms either. And one day, I'd been on tour for like a month and a half, and I hadn't seen my friends. And my friend, I was like, well, let's throw a prom party. And he had just gotten an apartment. So we threw an 80s prom night, and we all got dresses, and it was awesome. There we go. There's a picture. Oh, there's look, a bunch of us. 80s. I mean, how old-fashioned the 80s, right? <laughs> Gosh, really going back like Noah's Ark there, weren't you? Anyway, and you danced to the old music and everything? Yeah, totally. We made like CD mixes and we had so much fun. I love it. I love taking it in your own hands. And that's one thing about Cinderella Story that I know you've said a lot, that this is not your grandmother's Cinderella. Right. This is not a passive Cinderella who lets everything happen to her. She kind of, you know, she's kind of like a very strong female, and um, even though she's like torn down her whole entire life, and you really see the, those parts in the movie where she, it's just horrible for her, you know, she still like has goals and stuff that she believes in, like going to college, and then the guy comes on top of that, which is a great perk, but... Um, the guy you know, icing on college, yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> but she, she, that's not all she wants, you know, she wants stuff for herself too, which is good. And uh, she does have a stepmother, yes. however, we know the stepmother An evil story. One. <laughs> yeah, indeed, real wicked. I'm going to show a clip now. Uh, it's Fiona. She's talking to her stepmother, and her stepmother wants her to stay home and work, right? right? Yeah. And here's the scene. Fiona, I'm a straight-A student. I work seven days a week, and I'm taking extra AP classes. I never asked you for anything. Please let me go to this dance. <sighs> Sweetheart. Now that you're old enough, there's something I've always wanted to tell you, and I think you're ready to hear it. You're not very pretty, and you're not very bright. I'm so glad we had that talk. <sighs> <laughs> oh, 
up. And the, you have a kissing scene in here, and Chad Michael Murray told us that the two of you, you'd only known each other like three days. Right. Peter and you know what? During the filming of the movie, we were like, we were really close, really good friends and everything, but we had only... You know, when you start working with an actor in the beginning of the movie, it's always a little bit awkward. And like the first three days of filming, we had this huge kissing scene, and I was like, and the director had you go in a trailer and practice, and practice it. it. It was so embarrassing. It was like, oh my god, okay. Well, he said not only that, you had to do it in the rain, and it kept going up your noses, and you all were choking while you're trying and to do the kissing scene. And the rain scene. had glycerin in it to make it like sparkle more on film, and it got in our eyes, and like we had to do it a million times. <laughs> all right, last time you were here, you were going to get your driver's license, yes. did you? I got it. <laughs> She's, you're going to be 17 in September? Yes, so September the 28th. So but I've only had it for like five months. Right, how are you doing so. on the road? I'm doing pretty good. I have a really big car actually, so I think for having a big car, I've done good. I ran into my garage the other day, but it's okay. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't hit anybody. She just tosses that <laughs> off. And we collected all the magazines with you on the cover, oh. and we had to spend $50 <laughs> to get all the magazines. But I want to say, there's one of them said, I want a normal guy, just a normal guy. Tell me what normal is. Give me a sentence for normal. Well, I don't know. I say that, but you know, like I'm normal. But mm -hmm. I just, for some reason, I use the word normal for somebody that maybe isn't in the business that I'm in. You know, just because it gets really hard, and everybody's always talking about it, and everybody's either judging like what's right and wrong, and that can get really hard sometimes. And but how am I supposed to meet a normal guy because I don't go to regular school? All right, <laughs> I'm pretty much out of luck right guy. now. You're going to sing for us tomorrow. You're going to be going to Toys R Us right after the show, yes. right? Yes. And you're going to be signing autographs. Over right, with there. Tony Hawk. It's for um, Tony video Hawk. now. That's great. Uh, and thank you again. I know Anna is thank already you. getting ready for her.